This mother wants Fortnite banned. The reason for this is because she believes she's losing her 10 year old son Leo to it. For those of you who don't know, Fortnite is a co-op sandbox survival game. Suzanne is Leo's mother and she went on national television to talk about this issue. She said her son now finds normal life boring by comparison and that his mood has changed since he's been playing this game. Suzanne said, Before he'd go up for an hour to play on his Xbox, then he'd come back down and join in with the family. But then Fortnite came along. The game is so full of energy and adrenaline that that when you pull them off, they're screaming, they're hiding, they're calling each other, they are living in it with their friends. About this, Leo said, this game sucks you in and you don't want to die. It's just so exciting. Yeah, I don't think you're helping your case there, Leo. So this story has actually grabbed a lot of parents' attention and they say that Suzanne just needs to stand her ground and that this is ridiculous. Let me know down in the comments if you do play this game and if so, do you think it's overly addicting? Let me know your answers down below. Hey guys, welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. I have missed you guys. I'm happy to be back. Thank you for being so nice to Danny while Landon and I were away. We really appreciate it. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week and you're excited to jump into the weekend. Let me know what exciting weekend plans you have down in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and show us some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. All right, as you guys know, we have a lot of interesting news stories headed your way, so without further ado, let's get started. Next, I have a pretty remarkable story to share with you guys. With all the negativity that's going on in the world right now with people attacking one another, I think it's important to also share the positive stories. This is Andrea Graf. He's 36 and he has used up every single day of his annual leave from his job in order to take care of his son Julius who is diagnosed with leukemia at just 3 years old. This family has had a rough go at life. Andreas is a single father as 9 weeks after his son was born, his wife died of heart disease. Andreas was under a lot of stress and feared he would have to quit his job to take care of his son. Ok, so you're probably like, uh, Courtney, I thought you said this was a positive story. Well, this is where his HR manager stepped in and asked Andreas colleagues to donate their overtime to help him out and all 600 150 members of the company did just that. Even the colleagues who didn't work with Andreas helped out and within two weeks they raised 3,264 hours, which granted Andreas a year of paid leave. His son has gone through chemo and he is now well enough to go home. This is an incredible story about the power of people coming together. Next, Meghan Markle is taking the steps to marry into the royal family. She's recently been baptized in a private ceremony and is now a full fledged member of the Church of England. As part of the ceremony, holy water from the River Jordan was poured on Meghan's head. Kensington Palace has not yet made a public statement, but Prince Charles and Kate were also said to have been among a handful of guests in attendance. It was not necessary for Meghan, who was brought up Protestant, to convert in order to marry Prince Harry, but as she announced at the time of her engagement, she would do so anyways before their wedding, which is now only two months away. Meghan's formal acceptance into the church was the last arrangement by the royal couple before they wed. Next, in honor of Women's Day yesterday, McDonald's decided to flip its golden arches upside down and turn it into a W. The company changed the logo on all of their social media channels and 100 of their restaurants restaurants receive special packaging for their food, as well as shirts and hats for their staff. About this, McDonald's spokeswoman Lauren Altman had this to say, We have a long history of supporting women in the workplace, giving them the opportunity to grow and succeed. In the US, we take pride in our diversity, and we are proud to share that today 6 out of 10 restaurant managers are women. For the first time in our brand's history, we have flipped our iconic arches for International Women's Day, in honor of the extraordinary accomplishments of women everywhere and especially in our restaurants. Next, speaking of powerful women, a new $10 bill featuring civil rights activist Viola Desmond is here. For those of you who don't know, back in 1946, this woman stood up for the rights of black people in Nova Scotia by refusing to give up her seat in a movie theater. Yesterday, Canada honored her memory and impact by putting her image on the new $10 bill. This is pretty amazing. I must say I'm very proud to be a Canadian. Next, the first trailer for Christopher Robin is out. Take a look. What to do indeed. Poo? Christopher Robin. Yeah, what the heck was that? That is slightly terrifying. Like I get it, Christopher Robin's Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal is old now that Christopher's all grown up, but come on, this is going to scar children. If this is what Pooh looks like, I can only imagine what kind of shape the rest of the gang's in. The movie is set to be released in theaters on August 3rd, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see then how the others turned out. And it's that time of the week where I let you guys know it's super cool, awesome movies are hitting box office this weekend. And we have A Wrinkle in Time, Gringo, and The Strangers Pray at Night. Let's start off with A Wrinkle in Time. This movie is rated PG and it's an adventure family fantasy movie. This movie is based off of the best selling book. It has an A-list cast including Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, Levi Miller, Chris Pine, Storm Reid, and Zach Galifianakis. In this movie, Meg Murray and her little brother Charles have been without their scientist father, Mr. Murray, for five years, ever since he discovered a new planet. Joined by Meg's classmate Calvin and guided by three mysterious astral travelers known 
as Mrs. What's It, Mrs. Who, and Mrs. Which, the children brave a dangerous journey to a planet that possesses all of the evil in the universe. Take a look. Your father is trapped by an evil energy. It's too strong for our light. And the only one who can stop it is you. Be a warrior. Next we have Gringo. This movie is rated 14A and it's a comedy. In this movie you'll see Michael Ingrano, Yul Vasquez, Charlie Theron and Amanda Seyfried among others. This dark comedy takes place in Mexico, where a mild mannered businessman named Harold finds himself at the mercy of his backstabbing business colleagues back home. Crossing the line from law abiding citizen to wanted criminal, Harold battles to survive his increasingly dangerous situation in ways that raise the question, is he out of his depth or two steps ahead? Here's a peek. <laughs> We gotta get him out really quickly. I know a guy. I've tracked down dictators, but I can find a guy in middle management. What do they want? They want five million. What? Pesos? Dollars! And saving the most terrifying for last, we have the Strangers Prey at Night. Now, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I think Strangers is one of the most terrifying movies out there, and that's because masks freak me the F out. Yeah, so you can imagine how much I hate this movie. People wearing creepy masks, it's just not something I can get behind. Let me know what scares you guys down in the comments. Strangers came out 10 years ago in 2008, so I thought I was free of a possible sequel, but no. Here it is. But I do like horror movies, so of course I'm gonna torture myself by watching it. This movie's rated 14A and it's a horror movie. Yeah. That's for sure. This movie has a very intimate cast including Lewis Pullman, Christina Hendricks, Martin Henderson, Bailey Madison, and Ken Strzok. In this movie, a family's road trip takes a dangerous turn when they arrive at a secluded mobile home park to stay with some relatives to find it mysteriously deserted. Under the cover of darkness, three masked psychopaths pay them a visit to test the family's every limit as they struggle to survive. Yeah, take a look. <laughs> Enough of that. Yeah, I forgot it was based off of a true story, so that just adds to the fun, doesn't it? I'm seeing it tonight, so I'll let you guys know how that goes in tomorrow's video. Alright, you guys, that's all the news stories I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to show us some love by giving this video a big thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one.